Aloha, we are Amanda and Felix Eats, and being born and raised in Hawaii, we know a thing or two about good seafood. I mean, we are from an island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. But right now, we are in Seattle, a city that takes seafood really seriously. Right, ready? First fresh seafood of our trip. Cheers, guys. For today's video, we are taking you to Seattle's waterfront area. And this is the awesome first stop on our seafood tour, where the seafood is fresh and the sunsets are magical. What's going on Foodie Ohana and welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're taking you guys along with us on a Seattle seafood tour. We've heard so many great things about the seafood here in Seattle, but first, guys, first, 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 we need coffee. And we're actually here at the very first AR Barista Bot. It's literally a barista robot. Isn't that super cool? <laughs> Maybe the future of coffee? Who knows? Let's go and find out. Let's go. What? Oh my god, it's just so crazy. So guys, it's right here. This is called the Artly Barista Bot. The first AI Barista Bot. Like, is there even anyone in there? I don't even know. It's literally right here. Is this one Jarvis? Yeah, that's Jarvis. The other one is Amanda. I'm Amanda. It is my pleasure to oh. serve you today. <laughs> <laughs> turmeric kind of coffee oh is it so we the reason we got the latte or the the chai version is because there's a robot in there named amanda the other one was named jarvis so amanda wanted to use amanda <laughs> and um i guess she specializes in drinks with syrups and so we got this one it's a turmeric flavor golden latte is what it said and the turmeric flavor is not super strong. It does have like a slight like spice flavor to it. Mmm. I'd rather have espresso, but you know. It is espresso essentially. It's a latte. Well, it's better than anything I can make at home. So yeah. props to Amanda and Jarvis. Also, it was really hard to wake up because it was so cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, we planned on waking up around 7 a.m. But we actually ended up waking up at around 9. Well, let's kick off the seafood tour, guys. We are here at our first stop for this seafood tour at, of course, Elliot's Oyster House right off the pier. I'm so excited for some fresh seafood. Alright you guys, so the first spot we're at is called Elliot's. Elliot's Oyster Bar, Oyster House. First spot is Elliot's Oyster House. It's literally right on this pier right here. It's a little blown out from the camera, but it was just the sun was way too harsh on my eyeballs. So I had to sit on this side. They have a bunch of fresh oysters and a variety of different kinds. It's a raw bar, so literally look at this list of oysters they have. She's gonna pick out six different oysters for us to try. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna try them. They also have a specials menu, which is right over here on the other side. So I'm not really sure what we're getting yet, but definitely the oysters. And this is the awesome first stop on our seafood tour. All right, Food Ohana, we put in some orders for fresh seafood, and we are starting off, of course, with fresh oysters. And not just any fresh oysters, we got six different types. There is hot tea water with lemon in the bowl at the bottom. It's a finger bowl for your hands to uh, 
to get the oil and butter from the crab. Okay. Bibs, napkins, crab crackers, and cocktail forks. Right, Thank you. I'm sorry, what was this called again? Champagne? That's our champagne mignonette, and it brings mignonette. out the flavor of the oyster. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy. Thank you. We were about to dive in a little too early. Luckily, our server came to the rescue, handed us some bibs. Maybe that's why right over here is not that busy. It's probably more busy during the day. Probably. And sorry for the lighting, but yeah, the sun is setting. The sun sets fairly early here. It's like not even four. What time? Is it? it is five to four. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. But I will say nothing beats fresh seafood on the pier. So please forgive us for having the sun in the background, but we're just trying to soak it all in and take you guys with us, of course. We're gonna do hot takes of oysters. We have a cheat sheet in front of us so we know which ones we're trying. We're gonna just go around here squeezing a generous amount of lemon on each of the oysters. So we did get two of each. First one is Aphrodite. So I'm probably gonna fall in love after the first one. It does come with two sauces, as I mentioned, or two toppings. So I did mention this is the lemon mignonette. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm, that's what it was called. It's kind of like a sorbet of champagne. Champagne mignonette is called. So I'm gonna try that first because it's not something we see every day, especially in Hawaii. All right, ready? First fresh seafood of our trip. Cheers, Cheers guys. Really fresh, really yes. amazing. It's oh my goodness! Crazy that it, it's kind of crazy that it tastes so fresh that it just the texture is even different. That champagne mignonette thing it tastes kind of like a like a champagne sorbet almost, but a little more on the sour side. Now we're going for the second one. This is called the, the funny Fanny Bay. Fanny Bay. Oh, Fanny Bay. I'm gonna try the jalapeno dressing now with some of the onions. Ooh. Oh, this Fanny Bay one in general looks a little on the smaller side. It's like a cute little oyster. Cheers. All right, cheers. Mmm. That jalapeno <laughs> dressing, so fresh. I'm not a huge fan of the jalapeno <laughs> dressing because it's very oniony. I love oniony stuff, so I don't mind. And our other food arrived already, and it smells amazing, guys. I can't wait. And um, this third one now is called the Olympic oysters. Mine even comes with some extra seaweed on the side. <laughs> or as we call it in Hawaii, limu. <laughs> yeah. And guys, also drop a comment down below, which is your favorite oyster from Washington for you local Seattleites? Oh, these ones are big. No wonder they're called Olympic. Look at this, this is the Olympic size. Cheers. All right, cheers. Mmm. Mm. That one is super meaty. Not as sweet, but... Yeah. The Fanny, Fanny Bay was a lot sweeter. This one was a little bit bitter, but very like seafood and briny. Briny, not as sweet. And the fourth one here, Royal Miyagi. Ooh. I kind of like it with like very little bit of this mignonette. Not too much. Let's try that champagne mignonette again. <laughs> with the Royal Miyagi, cute little tiny oysters. It kind of reminds me of the Kumamoto ones. Cheers. All right. I will say out of all the oysters, this one's the most prettiest one. Look at this one. The shell itself is so pretty. That one has a very oyster, strong oyster flavor. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that one though. I think I like mm. that one the most so far. It was like on the smaller side, but very, very flavorful. Mm, I like the Fanny Bay. I think so far the Olympic was the only one I was kind of like mad about. Mm. Oh, this one's even smaller. What is this? The Shinsei. Oh yeah, this one's really tiny. Okay, cheers. cheers. Mmm, that one is really sweet. Tiny and sweet. That one had more of an aftertaste. Mm -hmm. But a sweet aftertaste. Taylor Kumamoto. Oh, so these are Kumamoto's. Oh, the Kumamoto is actually pretty big. That's how seldom we eat oysters, guys. We're not fancy like that. Last time you fried it on a Okay, <laughs> so we were at a house party, and last time I literally put the oysters on the grill because I thought they were regular oysters and they were Kumamoto oysters. My friends got so mad at me. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to eat it correctly here. Fresh Cheers. Kumamoto oysters. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Definitely the Kumamoto. That's my favorite one. That one is really sweet. Just the right amount of brininess. Alright, the oyster roulette has finished. And now on to the other seafood dishes. 
Of course, you know we have to get a salmon dish here. We did do a little research and the Alaskan salmon is very, very famous here in Washington. So we got the king salmon from Alaska and then we also got a crab cluster. This is the snow crab you said, right? Yes, or over here they call it the Bayardi. Let me know if I'm saying that wrong, Bayardi species. We're gonna try the grilled Alaskan king salmon first. I like that over here at Elliot's Oyster Bar, they let you choose the type of seafood you want. So if you didn't want to try king salmon, there was a What's the other one? There was like um, another type of salmon, keto too, but we wanted to try the king. Cheers, guys. Oh, good. Man, that's good. Mm. Perfectly seared, light, crunchy exterior, very tender. I've never had salmon this tender. And there's a risotto cake. Oh, here. this is interesting. It's like a, yeah, like a slightly seared, Risotto cake instead of a crab cake is risotto. Mm. Oh, that's good too. It's like really cheesy. And on this risotto dish, this uh, balsamic vinaigrette reduction. But guys, the salmon is the star of the show here. It is so tender. It's literally falling apart as I'm forking it. All right, guys, we changed up the angle a little bit. I am a huge fan of the salmon. Okay, next we're gonna go on to the, the crab. king crab legs, and we're not. We're not bougie enough to get the Alaskan king crab. I kind of wish we did, but we do have another seafood spot we're hitting up, so we got these snow crab legs. I mean, these are pretty hefty sizes, guys, for this cluster right here. All right, guys, so we end up getting the cluster. It has five legs, kind of like a hand. <laughs> Actually, it's like half the body. Half the body. That's which... a pretty good deal for half the body. Oh, and they even pre-cut it, too, actually. Oh, nice. So, in. Break off the piece here. Ooh. 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 Oh gosh. Mm. Trying to be gentle with it. But oh. I feel like an accident is about to happen. Let us know which part of the crab is your favorite. I generally like the claw. That's my favorite. Mm. Ooh, there you go. You gotta pull out the, all the ligaments first, the joints. It's nice. It's pretty much like pre-cracked, yeah. I'm gonna try the top part. Okay. It looks like it comes with drawn butter oh. or just lemon. Wait, why is it so sweet? Wait, it's so sweet. Oh my. I didn't even get to the good part yet. Mmm. Oh, look at this. Fresh crab meat right off the pier, guys. <laughs> During sunset. That's crazy. Ooh. I'm gonna try a little bit of the crab meat without any sauce first. Honestly, it doesn't even need the sauce. Holy cow, <laughs> man. That is... Did they put sugar on this? Right? It doesn't even need any sauce whatsoever. It's crazy. Mm, what is going on? And this is their drawn butter. Mm, it looks a little thicker than uh, clarified Normal, butter. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Oh. Mm. Ooh, yes. That is amazing. Oh man, that was delicious. Can we have this, but in a buffet? None of the crab in the buffets back at home we had compares even close to this. This is fresh. Oh my goodness, like for real. Mm. Now, oh I'm tr I'm, now I'm thinking what the, like, what the king crab would taste like. Oh, <laughs> I know. If the snow crab tastes this good, holy cow. You need the cracker? I need more crab legs. <laughs> We're about to blow all of our travel allowance just on crab legs. They're that oh, good. Oh yeah, they're so good. I thought the salmon was like the piece de resistance, but I think it's the crab. Let us know if you guys do get the king crab here. Let us know what it tastes like. What do you mean, let, let us know what it tastes like? Yeah, let us know if it was worth it. <laughs> The hundred something dollars. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna finish up here and we'll see you guys at the next location. Before we head on over to our next spot, we had to take some pictures right at the harbor. So beautiful. <laughs> okay, 
Now, from gorgeous sunset to awesome fish and chips, we're super excited for this next spot, guys. I think after tonight, we're gonna be seafooded out, for yes. real. But, but not, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but not seafood, because we're gonna see food no matter what, but you know what I mean. All right, Furuhana, we are at spot number two, the actual correct location. <laughs> so yeah. we are at... Ivar's fish bar. Ivar's fish bar. And we made a mistake. So guys, a uh, little clarification, okay? Because no one told us, but there's Ivar's Acres of Clams and Ivar's Fish Bar. The fish bar is the one you want to go to if you're looking for a takeout. A lot more affordable is just the fried fish items. They also have chowder on the side. The Acres of Clams side is like a full-blown restaurant. And yeah. um, there's a little more on the pricey and side. it's very so. fancy also. Yes, very fancy. I love the interior though, that spot. It's just, uh, we're kind of on a budget. So yeah guys, we're gonna give this one a try. This is the one we wanted to try, the fish and chips. Guys, this camera does not do justice to the sunset. It is so beautiful. And look, we're gonna be sitting here, or here, or here. Ooh, it's amazing. lifesaver to have this enclosed indoor seating so cold all right guys so once again we're at ivar's the fish bar the more takeaway friendly side also cheaper anyways we got two orders we got one is the cod fish and chips they also have salmon fish and chips and halibut but we stuck with the cod they also have fried clams and chips. I'm gonna try the white fish caught first. Ooh, it's very light. Oh man. Mm. Ooh, you can see the steam coming off of that baby. Nice thin coated crunchy batter. Fish is flaky and fresh. So delicious. Oh my goodness. The tartar sauce is nice and tangy. Mm. <laughs> it's so hot, but Ooh, you can see even the layers. It is so flaky, guys. This is such a good deal, too. This was like 12 bucks. Comes with fries, too. Mm -hmm. All right, man, it's gonna try the fried clams now. So, guys, this is the fried clams. I dipped it in some tartar sauce. Look at this, it's kind of an odd shape, though. Oops. I mean, I guess because clams are so small, it's hard to fry, right? Cheers, guys. Mm. The batter's a bit different. This one's a bit more crunchier. Mm. I taste some kind of seasoning on there as well. It doesn't really taste like clams to me though. Mm. Oh no. If you get a more meatier clam, you can really taste the clam flavor. I love that it also comes with some fries. Here, I guess they call it chips. And guys, Ivar is also known for their clam chowder. It said world famous, so we're gonna try it out. It is a bit hard to beat the Pike Place chowder, I think, but we're gonna try it. Mm, it's so thick. This looks like the classic chowder. New England style. Mm, very classic. Felix said you could get it in red or white. It's thick. I love how creamy it is and the clams are very throughout. They're not skimping on the clams. There's the potatoes in there. And I do taste the fragrance of like onion and celery as well. Oh, this is warming me up from the inside. Felix really wants me to try the cod on camera. I'm gonna do that. This is the cod into tartar. I'm going in. so moist wow this is a fried lover's paradise <laughs> this is such a good deal i'm telling you guys i think the same order on the restaurant side was going to be 22 dollars if i'm not mistaken this is 12 dollars it might not be plated nicely but it gets the job done so satisfying wow. all right foodie ohana that about wraps up today's seafood adventure here in seattle we had a blast we sure hope you guys did we weren't able to hit up a lot of other seafood spots that we wanted to but seattle will always be back <laughs> we have a still very very long list thanks to you guys so we definitely will be back thank you guys so much for coming along if you liked 
today's video please give this video a big thumbs up it helps us out with the algorithm and if you have not already come join our foodie ohana by clicking that subscribe button down below and we'll see you guys on the next video all right foodie ohana, until the next one eat that king alaskan salmon eat those king crab legs i have ours fish and chips peace out Bye. Iconic staple to the Seattleites. <laughs> Off the seafood. Oh, it's like hamai. Oh, I just go like this. I don't think I've ever. Oh, oh we're blue. Oh. I'm blue, da ba dee, da ba da. Oh, okay. So Flick is flicking off Amanda's fingers. <laughs>